And I know this, this is part of due process, so the Board of Supervisors report, which requires in the bylaws for your committee or your, your task force to take public testimony. So the minutes are not reflecting any of the public comments that have occurred here for the past year. Board of Supervisors and the city at large are completely unaware of the real feelings of the public and how it may either support or be in contrast to the actions you all are taking. And I would like to ask that you all consider start putting in real comments to reflect the real will of the people as expressed in this assembly. And that's all I'm asking. Move, move to uh, take into consideration. Uh, the motion Point of order is a motion on the floor. The motion cannot be added at this time. Okay. Um, however, the point of order, you are out of order, Ms. Gokenauer. It's Gokenauer. Gokenauer, you are out of order. Thank you. However, I'm going to make Thank you, Chair. Thank you. 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 Uh, my name is Barry Bedford, and I uh, I have a fake a little issue with the uh, minutes of the meeting. If I recall correctly, at the last task force, the things that were not uh, gotten to was supposed to be carried over to this meeting, and I'm and um, also the public is not given a copy of the minutes of the last meeting. But uh, I don't think the website. Greg, if you can get that, if you have the copy, copy. Thank you. But uh, what I would say is, uh, I do believe there are a few items that is one last uh, attended. It did not take care of the You could not insist on that. What was that? Agenda that has nothing to do with the Of the last, well, he said that there was an item on the last agenda that was. It was discussed amongst the task force.
from the class meeting are not yet available on the website. And therefore, the public has not yet had an opportunity to see this. So we're talking about commenting on minutes here. Um, it's, we're kind of at a little bit lost as the public, um, even though the, the members of the task force have not seen this. And I do encourage, uh, I'll bring this up again to the approval of the agenda, that the matters from the last meeting that were not covered get taken care of this meeting. Thank you. Then in the future, maybe we consider that, you know, there shouldn't be any public comment on the minutes until after the
we were more of an investigatory body, which made it more difficult because we couldn't answer questions like, hey, do you have a surprise inspection this weekend at MC South? That's what some of the public comments would be. But we found a way to work around that, and we paid close attention to the public comments and that let the people know that their voice was being heard. And the reason why this is crucial is because a lot of these people in our city are downtrodden and beaten down and suffering. They live in a state of pain almost every day. They have almost no hope. So when they see leaders that show up at every community meeting that they're supposed to, that give great uh, uh, deference to public comments and include their will, there are many times when we knew what we wanted to do was right, and when the public kicked up with us, we backed down and we deferred and bowed our heads down to the public who we serve. We never took a stance of, we know what's best for them, we're going to go to do anyway. So all of you as commissioners need to understand your proper place in the city. You're here to serve us. You're not here to serve your own interests. You're not here to pay for text messages. You're not here to have secret meetings. You're not here to not show up at You're not here to talk about 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 you are not here to talk about you are um, again, as a low-income uh, patient advocate, uh, I have noted that the Attorney General's uh, guidelines do not allow for any viable business models that will allow for sustainable uh, patient growth or distribution to patients. Uh, in particular, uh, it's wrong to deny the patients the benefit of the commercial. Are you speaking into the motion? Where is there a motion? Oh. Yeah. I okay, think I think you heard what I had. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, they're approved. I mean, it's like, you can't even do it. I know, but that kind of procedure that is required about the power of access, and if anyone's asked for it, they can get a copy of it, unless they're required. And you have the agenda, and you have the agenda, and you have the agenda, and 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 the agenda
not do this. The meeting's adjourned, but we do have the room for a couple hours. So, so let's talk about how we want this to work better. I mean, we can talk. Exactly. Um, I'll give you a call.